Hi, I'm Jim Ingalls, and I'm a staff scientist at the Spitzer Space Telescope Science Center. And I'm going to be answering the question, what was the biggest technical challenge that Spitzer had to overcome, and how was it done? The biggest technical challenge that Spitzer had to face was how to remain as cold as possible for as long as possible for as uh, little money as possible. And the way this was done was to put Spitzer in orbit around the Sun instead of the Earth. Most satellites, when they're orbiting the Earth, get a lot of heat from um, just exposure to reflected sunlight uh, at all times during the orbit. What happened with what was allowed to be done with Spitzer was the solar panels of Spitzer could always face the Sun, keeping Spitzer in the shadow of the panels so that the Sun never directly hit the observatory and the observatory could become much cooler than it would have if it was around the Earth. And the liquid helium cryogen that was keeping the very sensitive uh, infrared instruments cold, could uh, we didn't need as much to keep them as cold. They, they didn't have to work as hard. And so Spitzer could be sh shrunk down due to the fact that there was a lot less helium to be carried and could be launched on a smaller, on a smaller rocket, which cost a lot less than, than it normally would have. Uh, and to this day, being in the shadow of the sun keeps Spitzer uh, much colder and more stable thermal, uh, thermally than it would have been around the Earth. And so it's able to still return uh, incredible scientific results, even though uh, the cryogenic liquid helium is no longer there.